what is something that we as you know survivors or or people living with an ICD don't know that you have discovered in your publications that you feel could be interesting for us to know is there anything coming to your mind uh, on that yes a number of things come to mind first and foremost new newer technologies are coming mm. so we're going to have more options in the future about leads about smaller devices that yeah. allow us the same capabilities i'm excited about i'll call them engineering advances or technologic advances so the devices are going to be better in the future that's number one number two i think we are getting better at engaging patients in that process so number two would be you know patients voices are being heard more often maybe not as loud as they need to be but they are getting heard more often i think the third thing it has to do with technologies in which patients can be more engaged with so i, I there's no doubt cell phone based interaction with the device information yeah. coming to you all the time that's yes. clearly there which relates to number two the patient's voice can only be heard if they're getting some information back so i think that's exciting i think the third thing there is that patient voice uh, is being magnified because patient data is going to be presented at a higher rate in the future i think fourth is that um how we use remote monitoring how we use the capabilities of information interchanging means that there may be fewer doctors visits in the future there may be less of the hassles that go along with care that technology can give us so i think that's exciting so in all of these things i am optimistic i i think there is a brighter future ahead for for patients managing heart disease at all ages and you know i haven't mentioned genetics i haven't mentioned some other changes in medicines but all of these technologies whether it be a device technology or pharmacologic or genetic or and even psychologic and behavioral uh, we're going to continue to see ways in which we create apps for people and just ways to engage and be more proactive and and in control and in charge of their disease i think those are exciting technologies and there are many more coming in other that are that are in that will be focused on function and be focused on increased control so i'm very enthusiastic i'm very excited about some of the things that will come down the pike that will be both defibrillator technology but also ancillary technologies technology that we build in and around the defibrillator yeah. in order to continue to get greater control over um uh, over the body and and to protect our patients Wow. I mean, as a person with an ICD, I am excited to hear actually this. So, okay. That's, that's good. Yeah, we're not giving up. We're going to get better. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no question. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to get yeah. better. I mean, there's some great, smart people working on all these problems. There are people every day that get up and think about, about people like you and yeah. it's our passion. It's our, it's our, it's our reason for being. And I, I just can't think of a greater calling than trying to, help people who um, have demonstrated incredible survivorship and courage. And it's just a matter of helping them take that forward.